I'm Victor Petty from the University of Kansas, and we're presenting the KUAR, the Kansas University Agile Radio. Um, it's essentially a small, portable SDR platform designed for mobility research and for um, software-defined radio experimentation. Uh, as you can see, inside of the radio, we have three modular boards. We've got a power board, a digital board that has the FPGA, ADC, DAX, and that mates with an embedded PC. Um, in the newest version of the radio, the embedded PC has a 1.4 gigahertz Pentium M, gig of RAM, 8 gig micro drive. So with the newest version, you really have flexibility in terms of being able to implement uh, waveforms or other SDR constructs at either the software or the hardware level. Um, on the, uh, on the FPGA, of course, you can do digital signal processing, a variety of things down on that. We really tried to go with kind of, you might say, a sane abstraction level for each of the various models. For instance, if I'm an RF engineer and I design a new RF board, I don't want to have to you know, write C code to test it out. I don't want to have to write custom MATLAB code just to be able to look at constellations or the performance of my RF board. So I just slap it onto the KUAR use the existing API or the control panel to be able to immediately test things out. Um, the control panel uses a simple XML file format, so you can just say, I want a constellation, I want eye diagrams, I want spectrum plots, and everything is, is instantly available. Um, now the radios are designed for you know, either mobile or fixed um, networking research. So through the control panel, it's very easy to select something like a QAM setup, an OFDM setup. Um, just by double clicking on it, it'll configure the radios and begin the experiment. Um, you know, we've, we've tried to have a sensible design flow that appeals to all different levels of engineers, whether you're an RF engineer, a digital person, a software person. Um, it should be easy to use kind of the primitives of the building blocks that we made available at each level to build and test your system. Right now what it's showing is just a constellation of a QAM that's being uh, on one of the radios, it's being modulated random data with AQAM, and on the other radio, it's demodulating it, and then the laptop's just reading back the straight data points. So no real process is going on, processing is going on on the laptop. This is just displaying what's going on on the radios. We've got another demo which shows how you can add some intelligence at the control panel level too. This is a white, a very simple, just show how the radio works, white space detector. It looks for a threshold and ages the decision of whether or not that's an open space to transmit in. So it'd be a look then transmit type of system. And there's nothing moving around in this band right now. So that's why it's a very simple decision to make. It is to show people that SDRs are real, we have them, they're working, and we can do really neat things with them.